Okay, welcome to the first question on acidity constants and um, acid and base equilibria. First question is a pretty simple one. Um, just writing the Ka, so write the expression for the Ka for the first and second dissociation of carbonic acid. Now, first of all, you need to know what carbonic acid is. So obviously, it's the carbonate ion, and that's just a two negative ion. So you need four, you need two hydrogens to balance that out. So this is carbonic acid. Now, obviously, it's a diprotic acid, so you have the first and second dissociation. The first one, H2CO3 plus H2O, is in equilibrium with this and H3O plus. Obviously, we should put it in states as well. This is aqueous, this is liquid, this is aqueous, and this is aqueous as well. Okay. We want to write a Ka value for this, um, so therefore we know Ka is equal to the concentration of these two ions multiplied together times divided by concentration of our acid to begin with. And that's all it is for the first ionization. So first one of these um, hydrogens, which breaks off and jumps onto water, is our first ionization. This is the Ka value for it. Our second ionization um, obviously involves this guy here. So it's HCO negative plus H2O goes to CO3 two negative plus H3O plus. And this is our second dissociation. Therefore, our Ka value for the second dissociation, we go Ka equals our products divided by the concentration of the acid that we're starting with. And um, if you've watched the theory behind Ka's, you understand that we don't include water because it's included in our Ka value. So our Ka value um, is um, takes under the takes in the concentration of water. So that is just simply writing what the Ka values look like, and wait for the next question where we actually do some calculations. <laughs>、um, second question for、um, acidity constants. This one involves a student investigating a mixture produced by, react by a reaction of methanoic acid. So that's the formula for methanoic acid, but you already know that. And water. He finds that the pH is 2.4.、Um, the concentration of methanoic acid was 0.1 molar. What we need to do is find the Ka value for this reaction. So,、um, what are we going to do? First things first. I'm going to write out what the dissociation of this one looks like. It is HCOH plus H2O forms. Obviously, this is acting as an acid, so it's going to lose the hydrogen. It's going to be HCOO negative plus H3O positive. And obviously, I'm going to chuck states in there as being aqueous, liquid, aqueous, aqueous. And there's my reaction there for it. I need to find a Ka, so and I'm dealing with pH, so I'm just going to write down all the equations that I know that deal with this. It only takes two seconds, and it can help you immensely. So first of all, I'm going to write down my Ka value. Ka is equal to our reactants, HCO negative, H3O positive, divided by concentration of HCOOH. Okay, write that down straight away. And I'm also going to write down our equations that I know about pH. So I'm going to write、um, concentration of hydronium equals 10 to the negative pH. I'm going to write down concentration of hydronium times concentration of hydroxide equals 10 to the negative 14. And I'm also going to write down、um, pH equals negative log to the base 10 of hydronium. Okay, I wrote those down pretty much every time I do a pH question, just in case I need to use them. And then having them there. Makes me understand that I can use them as well. So、um, I always write down all three of those just to help me out along the way. Anyway, let's look at it. I need to work out Ka.、Um, this one here, I've got. I've got the concentration of my methanoic acid already. It's here. So this is this.、Um, what I don't have are these two concentrations here. But luckily, what it has given me is pH. And I can use pH in this equation here to calculate the concentration of my 
um, acid. So let's do that. So let's do that in green. Um, concentration of uh, green doesn't work very well. Let's go back to red. Concentration of hydronium equals 10 to the negative pH, which equals 10 to the negative 2.4, which I'll put into a calculator, is 10 to the power of negative 2.4, 3.98 8 times 10 to the negative 3. That is the concentration of hydronium. Now, I assume that all of this came from this dissociating. I'm assuming that there's really none of this, no hydronium from anything else. So I'm assuming it's pure water, that the amount of hydronium from water itself is negligible, and that the rest of it came from here. What that means is that if all of this came from here, these two values must be the same. So the concentration of my conjugate base here is equal to the concentration of my um, acid. So I'm going to say that is equal to concentration of my conjugate base. Okay, So that's an assumption that I've made with this equation. But now, luckily, I've got concentration of hydronium, I've got concentration of methanoic acid, and I've got concentration of this. So I can go my Ka is equal to concentration of, well, I'll just bang it in here, Zero point, sorry, 3.8 times 10 to negative 3 squared, because these two are the same, I can just go right, is that squared, divided by 0 0.1. So therefore, my Ka value is, I'll just square that, I'll divide that by 0.1 and I get 1.58 times 10 to the power of negative 4. And that is molar for my unit for Ka. There we have it. Ka for this um, methanoic acid is this. This is at the certain temperature that they're investigating. I assume um, my assumptions that um, this is true, um, A negative, so that my concentration of my hydronium is equal to my conjugate base. And I assume that um, concentration of my weak acid is equal to my concentration of my weak acid at equilibrium. So my initial is equal to my final. I also, pretty much, when we're dealing with these equations, we assume it's at 25 degrees Celsius, which is standard laboratory conditions. Okay? I assume... I'll explain this second one, because I actually haven't explained it in this. What I'm doing is, because this is a weak acid, it only partially ionises, what I do is I assume that this stays constant. So I assume that what I begin with is pretty much what I end up with here. Okay? So I assume that that's pretty well how it goes. And it's true, it only really partially ionises. So that's why I can use my initial concentration for this part here. Okay, This is why this doesn't work with strong acids, because we can't assume that um, what we start off with is pretty much what we end up with as well. Because a strong acid will completely dissociate, or almost completely dissociate. So with weak acids, we just assume that it only partially ionises.